Right now I'm going to show you a uh, very quick and easy method of adding missing symbols to your drawing. Let's take an example of a variable speed drive, like the uh, the more recent Altavar 312 range from Tele Um I have in the background here a manual showing the Altavar, and perhaps I've gone to the wiring diagram and I've seen the kind of symbol I want in my drawing. So what I can do back in the drawing, I could start by just drawing a rectangle defining a starting point and perhaps drawing the size of box that I want. All I have to do now is right click once I've selected it, choose block and choose a special group here for small box symbol. <clears throat> when I choose this, first of all I can define a device ID or a product name, then I can select the lines that are going to be smart box lines, so these are active. As soon as I select these, any wire that touches these will be given a connection point. And straight away, I can see I've got connection points on there. If I double click, I can set those to the required values. L2, T2, L3, and T3. If I have a ground connection, I can draw another wire. I can perhaps put that there and say that's going from ground. And if I want to put any extra information on there, such as a graphic, I can go to Home, uh, General, into Picture, and I can say put a logo on there. And if I want, I can then just add that to the block and that's all part of the symbol. Now as I move the symbol around, if I position it back in the wrong place, I end up with extra connection points. So once it's a smart box symbol, you might want to then, if I hit Ctrl Z to go back, you might want to fix it in its use. So you can right click and choose Explode, and after that you can then window round it, making sure to select all the parts of the symbol, right click and choose Block, only this time block it as a component. So now it's fixed in its connection points. If I then drag this onto a custom folder, I can give it a name, and it's then ready for use in future. 